south end of Cyprus. I'm interested to see what the Cyprus map is like. Um, I haven't, uh, it's uh, new with the same update, so I don't think there will be anything. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not obviously not going to be paying attention to it in this video, but the, uh, it'll be interesting to fly around and uh, see what it's like. So, pop back into the cockpit here. Uh, I will bring back the seat in the cycle just to uh, um, so just so people know, I am using a, um, a Verbal uh, T50 Mongoose base, uh, the original one, not the V2, um, and I'm using it with a, uh, a Warthog grip, which is getting pretty long on the tooth these days, but uh, it works out pretty well for me. And then I have a Warthog throttle that I'm using instead of the, uh, a proper collective, and I do need to upgrade to a proper collective at some point. Um, but uh, today is not that day. So. In any case, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is just kind of running through a bunch of basic things um, just to kind of get a feel for the helicopter. So um, I have watched um, a couple of Wags' videos on um, you know, hover, takeoff, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, I'll be following some of that, but then, you know, figuring stuff out on my own based on what I know from the, from the MI-8, which is admittedly not a terrible amount more amount of the Huey, but... Um, I guess it is kind of a DCS meme that we always turn on the fan, so let's see, is that this one? Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. So we'll have that on. I don't know if it turns off with the generator, kind of like the MI-8 does, but uh, eh, we'll see. Alright, so first things first, um, we have the, the controls, I'm not going to do a full control sweep. Speed, I believe in kilometers per hour, and then this is in 
day, 50 degrees Celsius out there, and we are just about at sea level, so uh, standard day conditions. So, uh, I'm blabbering, let's, let's do a quick check. So, um, I know that the, at least from a video, that the cycling should be held about here, the pedal should be held about here. If you look at the control indicator, um, uh, it's probably with the collective name uh, raised. I don't think the collective raised right now. So, um, go ahead and disengage the brake. Okay. So, keep us rolling. I have to add some aft cycling. And I'm going to add a little bit of right cycling just to anticipate what we're going to do. Holding the pedals a little left, but uh, that's going to change as it increase the collective. So I'm bringing the collective up now. The nose is coming left. It's wanting to roll forward more, so more aft cycling. That's a pretty, uh, fairly substantial amount of aft cycling. More than the MI8, I think. Let's just get her in the air. Okay. Alright, pretty similar to the MI8.
Alright, fine. Okay, holding the brake. A little bit of collective in. We'll go ahead and pop us up into a hover. And, uh, now that we have some room around us, we're a little less nervous. Thank you. 
I don't have any um, any vibrations going through um, as we transition you know, to, to forward speed. But so.
was aiming for that little jetty out there. Dot. Whatever that is. So, you know, let's kind of put that right in the bottom of the site there. And, uh, see if that's kind of where we end up. It's kind of what I'm all over here. But, uh, yeah, in descent, you can, you can lose your, um, you can certainly lose your target behind the,
said, autos are going to be tricky. Um, you know, with the nose up attitude and, and the poor field of view the cockpit, it's going to be tricky to find the right landing point. Those might be fun to practice another time. Pull down on them. Alright, uh, we're going to do D cells to hover. You know, so we'll do a full approach to uh, hover.
about 20. It's about 20 meters per second sideways. Um, I have plenty of cycling authority. Uh, running out of rubber, or uh, pedal, I should say. Similar to the MI-8, I feel like I have a little bit more authority than the MI-24 than I did the MI-8. There's just about full pedal. speed very well. So I'm going to quickly reset the mission. Things like that happen. And uh, we'll um, kind of pick up where we left off. It happens. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'll admit that. Uh, but um, yeah, that's what happens when you're unfamiliar with the aircraft. Um, stuff like that happens. So I was getting a little too... Uh, I think I felt a little too comfortable uh, with what I had learned, what I had picked up, and uh, that happens. So that's why it's a simulation. This will give us an opportunity to do some air taxi. Okay. This frame rate is not helping me out.
So I think I think the takeaway, and I'm, I think I'm going to leave that in the edit um, of that crash, is that you know you you need to be careful when um, you're doing things like that, especially as you're you're transitioning out of uh, you know out from you know ETL. You're, you're coming into a hover. You need to you know be quick on bringing in your collective, making sure you have enough. Collective in there before you, you know, your descent rate gets too high. And you, you end up uh, sending the power and crashing into the ground. I was much too late at recognizing uh, that I was in that, and by the time that I did, it was too late. So uh, it's good helicopter pilots will recognize that before, before I did. So. Okay, here we are just about where we were last time. Um, I'm going to go into left, or excuse me, right side of the flight. And I feel like I'm having a much harder time. I have to put in a lot of right pedal, lots. Sideward flight is a lot harder than left sideward flight. In terms of, you know, you can't, you can't get it up to speed. Your directional axis saturates much more easily. And it's just, I just think because you have less, you know, less tail rotor authority. You know, you're, you're, this is, you know, pro torque tail rotor. And, um, or the, uh, the wind is trying to, you know, you're trying to, Putting the um, it in the descent condition, and then you're trying to demand a lot of thrust. Yeah, it's tough. It seems to be much slower. Saturate a lot earlier than uh, we did in uh, the left side. Part of that, right? That that wasn't a fair comparison. I just realized. Center of the 
pedals, the aircraft aligns with the flight path. All's good.
to see what happens with the sash, trying to understand exactly what's happening. A lot of that stuff can be disguised uh, behind uh, you know, simulation, getting just more explanation generally for what, you know, what exactly it does, and then you know, trying to work with our you know, home hardware, you know, and not, not working like a real you know, helicopter cycling collective should. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the nuances behind the, the flight control system and uh, the SAS system and stuff like that just gets lost.